Hey guys. And Satsuikal. My name is Money. Meta Nam Abby. And together we are the Money Matching Sings. Sings. Baby, the joke is so uh, old. Yeah, this Come joke on. is ridiculous. We're the modern Sings, guys. We're the modern Sings. <laughs> what are we doing today, baby? Today, guys, I'm gonna make some Punjabi style chicken curry. It's yummy. It's my favorite, guys. I think they love Bobby's Dabba. <laughs> I wish you guys could taste it too. That's the thing. Like, I see so many comments and they're like, <laughs> Yeah, he's just saying it for the video. I bet it doesn't taste nice. One day. I hope One so. day when we come to India, we can like host like a... A pop-up tabba. A pop-up tabba. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's start? Yeah. Do we need start. to go to Kriyana store? Nee. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. Chalo. We have everything we need right here. It's the same ingredients <laughs> as we use every time, but I'll go through them again. So we have bay leaves, cumin seeds, Jira. You only know because yeah, because I read the sign. <laughs> Tomatoes. Tomato. Cloves. Long. Cardamom seeds. Lachi. Green chilies. Mercha. Ginger. Adrak. Garlic. Lasan. Onions. Piaj. And chicken. Of course, we have all the spices. Mm. Yeah. Guys, not only do we have our spices, but look at this. Look what we got. Dun, 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 dun. So I had to upgrade from my my spice rack. You know, it just wasn't working for me because you got these containers and you're trying to pour it in nice. It doesn't work. This is so much easier, guys. I'm finally a pure Punjabi. And we're going to make it all in the karate. So let me guess the first step, baby. Okay, go. It's to get the tarka ready. Uh huh. So how do we do that? We get the pyaj, lasan, adrak, ginger, and we adrek chop it up. Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> we just get all of that together and we yeah. chop it up. Yeah. And we get it in the karahi. Yeah. We put some oil, some bait. You guys will know. Just yeah. watch. <laughs> I'm not even cutting the onions and my eyes are like fully tearing. Okay, so they're all chopped up, so I'm gonna put them. I borrowed this from Money's mom. I need, we need to get one for ourselves, babe. It's like no electricity, you just kind of um Ooh. <laughs> you just push it down and it like cuts it all up. Jor lagake? Oh Baba, not too much here, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good. Diga. See, it chops it so nice and evenly, guys. It actually does. Whenever we put it in my blender, I have to blend like two to three times. And it just never turns out nicely. There's always big chunks. This, there's never any chunks. So, that is our tarka. So, we're just gonna heat up with some olive oil. Just a little bit around the bottom. What's next? What's it called? Eh, apa yang jira. So just like a pinch of jira. Hanji. Maybe. Do. 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 Do baby. Ek long. Nee. Nee. Ten. Hanji. How many? Latia, do latia. I'm just taking a wild guess, baby. I don't even know. So these guys, it's just all a cinnamon little... stick, right? Yeah. So it just all adds a little bit more flavor into the tarka when it's cooking. We're just gonna leave this to heat up until the jira seeds start to turn like a darkish brown color. Um, and you guys know I check to see if it's like sizzling before I put in the onion mix. Now we wait. So you guys, so if I think it's ready, which I think it is, this should sizzle when I test it. Baba, I'm not feeling it. It's not a feeling, babe. That's a part of That's when the pressure cooker. Okay, so we're gonna leave this to brown up a little bit. While we're doing that, I'm gonna cut my tomatoes to add in this. We got fresh tomatoes again today because it just tastes better. So we've got three onions. And instead of putting them in the grinder, I just chop them myself. So we have three onions, baby. Oh, <laughs> did I say <laughs> onions? Yes, you did. 
pregnancy brain. <laughs> I don't really like putting them in the grinder because it just makes them too mushy. So I just like to chop them myself. Just into like small little pieces. Pooja, what is this behavior? <laughs> Why you make a mess in the kitchen? <laughs> Shut up. Do you want your chicken or not? Are you asking for it? <laughs> you dying for it. Hanji. So I'm gonna let these tomatoes just cook a little bit. They'll get like smaller and kind of disheveled. And then we'll add in the spices. Now we're gonna add the spices. So, again, same spices we use every single time. Okay, what are they? That is namak. Anji, so salt. I use about one and a half to two. You can. I always add a little bit more in at the end though. I'd rather put in less now so that it's not too much at the end and then you got a really salty part. Kali merch. Anji. Uh, one teaspoon. What's this? Haldi. Anji. Turmeric. One teaspoon. What's this? Uh. I don't know. You don't know? Wait, that's not kali mirch. Pepper? Pepper is kali mirch. Baba, this isn't pepper. Chili? Garam masala. Oh, tiga tiga. Garam masala. One teaspoon. Hanji. And... Tem mirch. Hanji. Half teaspoon. Okay, ji. Half teaspoon. 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 That's who are saying I love you too. Baby sing. Baby, I love you so much. You don't love me too? So we're just gonna leave this to brown up a little bit before we put in that pre-made masala mix to give it a little bit extra. A pre-made... This is a cheating, baby. <laughs> this is a cheating. No, it's not, okay? And then we add in the chicken and we're pretty much done, guys. Just like the lamb. Baba, we didn't even use that side. But we're gonna use that side soon for chicken. <laughs> Remember guys, to use the other side of the chopping board or a completely a different chopping board if you're, if you're cutting chicken. Hanji! Okay! Guys, trying to get the lighting just right on both of our skin tones is really hard. That's why we're gonna have baby sing in the middle, just like a mix <laughs> like of us. the perfect. The perfect color. <laughs> And then you want to like get um dishwasher thing and what? Dish and then you want to clean the chicken. Shut up, babe. You're gonna chicken like bees. You're gonna so at the moment, Mani's parents are both in India, mm. um, traveling. So we are also cooking for Ash. So today I decided we'll put some on the bone, some not on the bone for him. So everyone is happy because this one likes it on the bone, <laughs> the other one doesn't. <laughs> Okay, so now that my tatka has been cooking away, it looks pretty nice and like that dark brown color we want. I can add in this masala mix. So this is a Indian chicken curry paste. You can use any one you want though. Mani's mom uses like a tikka masala one. It just adds a little bit more variety to it, that's all. Pretty much the same color as the tatka I've already got. You know what, it's probably the same It's probably like the same ingredients, yeah. <laughs> Baby, the tarka. It looks so good. Hanji. It smells so good. Hanji. And it tastes so good. Okay, go taste it then. <laughs> so it's looking like it's soaked in nicely. It's all like one color. So now it's time to add in the chicken. Damn, that's a lot of chicken. That is a lot of chicken. My God, do we have enough masala and tarka? <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Oh wow, so it did actually cover the whole chicken up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of chicken though. You had me worried for no reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover that, put the lid on, leave it for about five minutes, and then we'll add in some bani. Time to add the water. Kidna bani. It, it's not a measurement. I know I put it in a jug so it looks like it is, but you just want it enough to cover like the chicken fully so that it can cook. Ah, okay, sweet. Yeah. So just enough water to like the brim of the chicken. Yeah. So now we just check on it every maybe like 15 to 20 minutes, give it a little stir and 
for like the next hour and a half. Mm. That's or until it. you think it looks cooked and ready. I see. I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. So guys, when you're washing your um, cooking board after cooking chicken, you want to make sure you're washing it in like boiling hot water. It has to be very, very hot. Just to yes. sanitize it and you know, and make sure we remove any germs. Ah! Baba, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Baba, be careful! That was hot, man! Man, nice. that looks so damn good, baby. Wow. It's roti time, guys, so we use our portable gas cooker. As you know, that our stove doesn't heat up properly, so... It's so bad. It's so bad. And Plus, then we've got... gas cookers just cook it best. Okay, we're done. We're done with roti. We are done. So we're done, guys. Finally. Finally, it's time to eat, baby. It looks so damn good. <laughs> thank like, you, thank it. you. It smells very nice, too. And um, we usually have uh, fruity kiotas, but today... You know, I decided why not add a Scottish twist to this video. And iron brew. Iron brew. That is it. This is my if favorite. If you guys haven't had iron brew, you guys must. It you need to try so it. So good. It's so good. My favorite thing ever. And now every time all Money's cousins come over here, they're like, Can you have iron brew in the fridge? They all love it too. They love it. Mm. Yummy? Yeah. That's so damn good. Like, that whole curry as well inside. You can... You can taste the seasoning. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow along this recipe at home. It's really, really yummy. So you should give it a try. If you want your curry to be a little bit thicker, like the gravy, just leave it simmering for a little bit longer. Mm. The steam will make it a little bit more thick. And always remember, guys, like and subscribe. We're not that couple. Now. And here we are. Bye-bye. Remember that, guys.